lawmakers were keen to say they were not political point scoring in the debate, when Jewish labor lawmakers listed the abuse they had received on social media, sometimes, they said, from party members who were self-declared Corbyn supporters. There has frankly been a deeply worrying lack of leadership or moral clarity on this issue from him, Javid told Parliament. We cannot and we must not ignore the particular concern with elements within the Labour Party, nor can we ignore the fact that this increasing concern has correlated with the current leader of the opposition and the wave of activists that have come with him. Earlier this month, British Jewish groups protested against Corbyn, accusing the leader, a supporter of Palestinian rights and a critic of Israel, of failing to tackle anti-Semitism because of a far-left worldview hostile to Jews. Andrew Gwynn, Labour's policy chief for communities and local government, said his party was tackling anti-Semitism and that where there were allegations the party and its leader don't just call it out, we root it out. It is our responsibility to show that we have zero tolerance for anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. There is no place for anti-Semitism in the Labour Party, in the left of British politics, in British society at all. End of. But for many in Parliament, the efforts were not enough. Several Labour lawmakers called for the expulsion of supporters such as former London Mayor Ken Livingstone, after he was suspended last year for saying Adolf Hitler had supported Zionism. Lushana Berger, a Jewish Labour lawmaker who listed the attacks upon her because of her faith, said she felt that anti-Semitism in the party was now more commonplace, it is more conspicuous and it is more corrosive.